What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fist here, and I'm be bringing you guys the fourth installment of the Marvel Snap Alphabet Challenge today. It's been a journey. We've gotten pretty far. We're towards the middle of the alphabet, and pretty much what we've been doing, if you're new here, we're running through the 26 letters of the English alphabet and then making decks inspired by each letter. So we're having a blast, and we gotta win four cubes with each deck. Today, we're gonna be going through decks J, K, and L. And man, it's, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool time we had going through these decks. Before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to Charles Prime. He left a really awesome comment. It was my favorite comment from the last video. And what I'm going to be doing is showcasing the last comment from the previous video on each video after that. So if you guys want to get into that, be sure to punch that like button, leave a comment. Obviously, you can't you can't get featured if you don't leave a comment. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm only going to be picking subscribers. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Well, the first deck we're gonna get into is actually the J deck. And the J deck was okay, but we were still dealing with the throne location. And with Sacred Throne, it's just really hard to win some games. Sometimes you just get screwed. And that's what happened to us on a handful of occasions with the J deck. And even though we had Hobgoblin, we still were just not doing very good with that location. I will say that we did manage to get a lucky break on the last location. Oh, well, I mean the last game. So this guy has set up a kingpin lane and he also set up the whole thing with Storm. And his whole thing was he was going to pull us into the kingpin lane. But I couldn't play on safe on the, what is it? The, the space throne. And I also couldn't play on the storm lane. His kingpin lane was the only place I could play. So at this point, I'm like, I'm safe. I don't have to worry about arrow. What I failed to think about was Magneto. And he pulled some of my cards to Magneto, but because I played Jubilee into that lane, it didn't really matter that much. He could only pull one card, and the one card he pulled didn't really matter. We still won the Storm lane, and he didn't play on the Space Throne, so we ended up winning, and that was fantastic. And we get to move on to the K deck now. Let's go. Now, as for the K deck, we actually had a little bit of, uh, of a weird first game. We actually went up against some sort of a junk deck, and they just couldn't kind of catch us off guard. We had Carnage for the trash they threw over on our side. Um, the Black Widow kind of stopped us from pulling a card, but let's be honest here, we're playing a deck of cards. I don't even know how the combos are gonna go, so it didn't really mess up anything. And we finally actually managed to snap and bluff, and they just didn't think, I mean, we literally bluffed with a rock in our hand. And I mean, I just gotta say, you know, when it comes to Ben Broad says the best time to snap is always when you have a fistful of rocks. And let's be honest, we had a loopy fistful of rocks and we snapped and we got one cube. After that, we actually end up losing the next game to some really bad locations. I know you guys have never seen that before in Marvel Snap, right? Yikes. Um, and a really good Professor X from the enemy, which, you know, th things happen, right? I gotta get upset about it, am I? No, I'm not. After taking that loss on the chin, we managed to actually take the next game. We managed to snag two cubes from somebody who, who again was playing Professor X, utilizing the, uh, the space throne lane, but they got a little too Professor X happy and they managed to just forget about the other two lanes and we just took them from them. Next game also had a bit of a weird situation that happened. Um, space throne, yet again, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing that location. I was as well that night. But we actually morph into their Red Skull, but unfortunately, they zero into theirs, which gives them the win on the Space Throne lane. Who'd have thought? And we would have lost this game, but for some reason, they just couldn't do math properly. They dropped Typhoid Mary down, and we win. I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but hey, look, we take those four cues and we run with them. On to the next deck, that is which is actually gonna be the last deck and it's gonna be K. And we actually start this one off with a win. It was kind of a weird win. Um, we were going up against a Patriot deck and they just didn't manage to pull Patriot, I guess. And we managed to win two lanes. It's actually funny because they actually had a Misty Knight sitting over on the Space Throne and they had to breed a rock into ours. So we were losing that lane to a two power Misty Knight, but Either way, we were still losing it and it felt a little bit demoralized, but we managed to take that dub and move on to the next. The next deck was even weird. Like we were playing against a Lockjaw deck with Thanos and they actually threw a space stone into the space throne. And I thought they would move it the next turn, but they did it, which is really weird. Uh, 
I should have probably tossed my lizard onto the space throne when I did that, but I didn't, and that's fine. Um, now we're sitting here wondering, okay, how are we gonna win this? And it just turns out that we can't, we don't win. Um, it's Thanos, Lockjaw, it is what it is. We pay our taxes and we move on to the next game. All right, guys, so here comes the last game. And this one was on, this, it's not, not even biased, but this, this one was the best one yet. So typically you really hate to see Lamentis one, but we love it because we don't have any cards in our deck that are good anyways, right? Do we have no synergy? We just destroy decks that have combos and we run into a deck that has like, that is completely combo like dependent. We run into a Patriot deck and they actually get the combo. They actually pull out Patriot into Mystique into Onslaught. But we get the nuts and we actually have Magneto on turn six and we pull them over into Rickety Bridge. And I was, I honestly was, I was so stupid. I thought that I lost this game. I thought I lost it when it happened. I had to sit there and stare at the screen for a while and say, oh my God, I, I, I actually won. I, I was shocked. I did not know. And when it hit me, it, it was it was big because I was like I'm done with this. We this is the fastest challenge that we've done so far. Like out of all the other ones, this one took the least amount of time, which is crazy, crazy, stupid good. That's it. That's the challenge. We were able to finish it, and now we're gonna have to wait for the for part five. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. All right, guys, that does it for the video today. Um, can't wait for the next installment to be posted. In the meantime, if you want to be featured in the next video, be sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And that's really it. Well, like the video if you can. Besides that, here's another video you guys can check out in the meantime until I post the next one, which hopefully is very soon.